morning, everyone. My name is Chuck Hayes. I'm the CEO of Maine General Health, and I want to thank you for joining us today. We're here to celebrate an extraordinary gift from a family of one of our most treasured benefactors, Peter Alpaugh. Peter was a great champion of the Kennebec Valley, like his father before him. I traveled with Peter to different areas of the country to help him bring to Maine all of the cutting edge health and wellness programs. Peter's family continues to make their mark on the region, benefiting health and welfare of our residents. Today we gather physically distanced to announce that the well-being of the people of the Kennebec Valley will be enhanced for years to come because of a generous gift from the Peter Alphon Foundation to Maine General Health and the Alphon Youth and Community Center. Maine General has received a $40 million endowment from the Peter Alphon Foundation. With this incredible gift, we are renaming Maine General Prevention and Healthy Living Center, which Peter had so instrumental in establishing seven years ago to the Peter Alphon Prevention and Healthy Living Center. I'm pleased to have Dr. Crowley here to give you more details about these gifts. Dr. Crowley most recently served as Maine General Health's Chief Transformation Officer. She is now the Peter Alphon Foundation Endowment Leader at Maine General Health, overseeing the implementation of these endowment funds. We also have Ken Walsh here, he's the CEO of the Alphon Youth and Community Center, and he is here to tell you about the endowment for the AYCC. Accompanying him is Scott Jones, who is the board chair of the AYCC. Now let me turn it over to Dr. Crowley, who will detail how these funds will significantly expand Maine General's prevention programs to, to improve community health and wellness. Thank you, Chuck, and welcome uh, to all of you coming to us in the news media and to those of you with us on Facebook. As Chuck said, I'm Barbara Crowley, and I have worked with Maine General for the past almost 35 years. The first 20 years was as a pediatrician, and these last 15 as a healthcare administrator. As Chuck said, today we're going to talk to you about, uh, and I don't use this word lightly, what will be a transformational gift, where a clinical health system, Maine General, will really move upstream to try to affect the health behaviors of the people who live in this community to make their lives today better and into the future. So Peter Alphon first came to our board in 2008. I met him at that time, and over the subsequent years, we talked about his interest in alternative medicine, integrative therapies, and how they could be brought to bear to improve the well-being of the people in the central part of Maine. You know, Peter himself had experienced many of these and felt that they were a benefit to him and wanted to bring that to the people of his community. So as Chuck said, in 2013, he made, at that time, his biggest gift to Maine General, a gift of $4 million over five years that helped us establish the Prevention and Healthy Living Center. So many of you may have seen this, but in our community, every quarter, we would put out a guide, some 7,500 guides across this community uh, to tell about programs that we were doing in three areas, healthy mind and body, physical movement, and healthy cooking and eating. In a little bit, you have an opportunity to see what a healthy cooking class might look like. Well, over the years, those classes have just grown. And in the last year, more than 3,000 participants uh, came to those classes, both the different classes and the free events we do on a quarterly basis. I want to say that those classes, we work with the community. We work with community instructors to help use their expertise and to collaborate both with the instructors and in different community centers. You'll hear in a minute from one of our 
community partners, the Alpine Youth Community Center. In March of 2017, one of our directors, leaders in prevention, Healthy Living, Leanna LaVoy and I had an opportunity to go visit with Peter in Florida. Now there were a number of things on our agenda at that time, but one of the things Peter talked quite clearly about is for us to think big. He wanted us to ask for another gift, and he wanted us to think big in terms of expanding these programs he was already very proud of. Now, unfortunately, in July of 2017, he sadly died uh, from malaria. But I will say within weeks, his children were here in Maine, and we sat with them, and they were very clear about a couple of things. Peter and we had been planning a major event in September of that year that was to culminate in a dinner celebration at the Alpine uh, home, and we did that. But more importantly, they were very clear that the work that Peter had started here gave him joy, energized him every time he talked about it, and they wanted to be sure that it continued. So over the last several years, we have worked with Peter's children to think about what really could we do that would impact in a demonstrable way the health of this community. And so what you'll see today and what you'll see in the center poster is that we are going to expand the work we're doing in those three areas, those classes, in healthy mind and body, physical movement, healthy eating and cooking. We're going to have more offerings in more places, ostensibly really to meet, reach more of this population. We're going to continue to work with the Teaching Kitchen program to help bring culinary literacy to more in this community so that they can make healthy, delicious meals, but really have fun have them be available uh, for busy families and people on any budget. But finally, and the thing that we're really excited about, many of us have difficulty. And we get stuck thinking about what's the right next step to improve my health. And what we know is that maybe a third of the time it's really about trying to get a clinical visit or an x-ray or screening. But two-thirds of the time, it's really not related to a specific clinical need. It's related to, I'm too isolated. I don't know how to get food. My housing is unstable. Or I might have other social needs. So we're going to begin to put a program together that's called Care Coordination, but it will be community health workers uh, meeting with, on a voluntary and a no-charge basis, individuals in this community to help them make those next steps. We're partnering with the University of Pennsylvania Center for Community Health Workers, and we know from them that if you just meet people and ask them the simple question of what would help you make your next right step to health, that you can not only affect their lives and the quality of their lives, but their overall health and their utilization of health care over time. So we're very excited to have this program. Uh, but you wouldn't take on a gift of this size without in fact, showing whether you're really making a difference. So we will also be partnering with an evaluation partner to help us design this program and to help us understand if we're really making a difference. So we can tell ourselves, we can tell you, the public, and we can tell the state of Maine and beyond what difference we're making. Remember, this is an endowment. We'll take 5% a year. But if we're good stewards of this money, it will go on for generations. So what we start here today will matter for three and four and five generations for this community. So I feel very lucky to have this opportunity. This community is very lucky, and we are very grateful to the children of Peter Alphonse for allowing us. And with that, I'll turn it over to one of our community partners, Ken Walsh. Thank you, Dr. Crowley, Chuck. What a great day for Maine. Uh, this is a really exciting time because it goes beyond me. I think what we will uh, do with all the things that uh, we're going to be learning, uh, working together, and pushing forward the wellness initiatives will go beyond the state. And uh, we're so excited to have such a great partner with Maine General uh, Hospital. Uh, already, uh, during this pandemic, uh, we have done uh, 
number of things right from the get-go, right from the start. Uh, on day one, uh, calling, uh, calling up Chuck and talking to Chuck, uh, how we could work together. We provided the essential child care, and then we looked at also food insecurity. As of today's date, we have provided over 30,000 hot free meals to the community. And without Maine General's guidance and direction, that wouldn't be possible. Um, so we have a lot to look forward to. Uh, we are thrilled and grateful to the, announce that the AYCC will be receiving an endowment gift as well. Eight million dollars from a Peter G. Alphonse Foundation. This gift will continue to cement our relationship with Maine General Health and bring the best practices of wellness to Central Maine. Uh, I met Peter Alphon back in 1993 and we uh, became uh, good friends and we shared a lot of uh, discussions about cutting edge visions to promote programs for individuals that include uh, mind, body, and spirit uh, that connects, you know, the YMCA's and Boys and Girls Clubs. And uh, we all know Peter, he had big visions and he had big stories, but, you know, now we're going to be able to uh, accomplish some of these dreams that he had. Uh, Peter's legacy is now pushing forward with these initiatives. And like Peter, his children, Rebecca, Kyle, Sarah, Deborah, will carry on this legacy and create their own. We are blessed to have this opportunity to serve our community and be a part of the Cutting Edge Wellness Initiatives inspired by Peter Alphon. With that, I want to introduce Scott Jones, the chairman of the board of the Alphon Community Center. Thank you very much, Ken, Chuck, Dr. Crowley. Um, yeah, it's exciting to be here. You know, we've all heard the expression that if you give someone a fish, they eat for a day. You teach someone to fish, they eat for a lifetime. This is a really powerful metaphor. Um, I really like it because it's about sustaining, and the word that Dr. Crowley used, transformation. And it gets to the heart of our mission. By necessity, the Alphon Youth and Community Center, the AYCC, we do a little bit of both. We do giving, we do teaching. As chairman, when I meet people, I say, we would like to be in the uh, teaching uh, as much as possible, because that's where you get true transformation for the individual, for the family, and for the community. It turns out it's actually very easy to say that quote, because it just rolls up. We all know that quote. It turns out, though, it's hard in practice to really live it. It's a much more expensive business model. But that's why we're so excited about this gift from the Peter G. Alphon Foundation. When you talk about leveraging partnerships, like we're gonna do with Maine General, and you start talking again about transformation, sustaining, and breaking the cycle, filling the mission, not just but here, here in Central Maine, this is it. This is what it's all about. With this endowment that uh, Ken was talking about, we're going to be able to do a bunch of really exciting activities on transformation. So obviously, we'll be able to encourage healthy, active lifestyles at our wellness center. We're going to be able to reach every member of a family, no matter how the family is constructed, or the age, or their ability. We'll be able to help them. And most importantly, perhaps, we'll really be able to leverage this partnership with Maine General take advantage of their professionals, work with them on nutrition, sports medicine, and other innovative programs. It's a shorter way of saying this and to complete the metaphor. We really want to go out there and teach a lot of people to fish. And that's what we're going to do with this gift. Thank you. I'd like to turn it back over to Chuck. Center has been such an important resource to the Kennebec Valley, and we're looking forward to expanding on our already very strong relationship. So if you knew Peter, he was always trying to educate the community, so he couldn't let this moment go without providing some real-time education. So let me introduce you to Ben Ramsdell, 
coordinator of community programs and chef with the Peter Alphon Prevention and Healthy Living Center. Ben will give you a flavor of the resources the center provides to the community, which will be expanded through this remarkable gift. Uh, as Chuck mentioned, my name is Ben Ramsdell. I'm the uh, culinary coordinator and one of the chef educators here at Maine General. Uh, I have the privilege of teaching patients, community members, and employees alike how to make delicious, healthy food in a timely way. It's part of my job. Um, the real part of my job, the real important part of my job, is addressing the uh, concerns and challenges that you and your family face in trying to prepare such healthy food for yourself and your family. So what I prepared for you here is not so much a cooking demo as a demonstration of what the results of some of our cooking classes here are. Um, I ran to a local fast food establishment and got a chicken sandwich, actually two of them, so that you can see what the components of them are, as well as what it looks like assembled. Um, and then I made two examples of our Mediterranean chicken burger, which is one of the recipes that we use in our Mediterranean cooking class. All of our classes uh, have different themes. Some of them are based around diet. So we have Mediterranean diet, we have DASH diet, among others. Some of our classes teach to specific diseases. So we have classes uh, for prevention and management of diabetes and heart health, for instance. Um, and we also have some classes that are more one-off and kind of fun classes. So we have a burger class. Um, we have different cuisine classes, we have a Thai class, we have a Mexican food <clears throat> class. So a lot of different ways to approach uh, getting healthier food into yourself and your family. You may not be able to see the, the nutrition facts that I've laid out here, um, but the burger that I was able to make um, in less time actually than it took me to drive to the store to purchase this pre-made chicken sandwich has half of the calories, has half of the fat, it has one quarter of the sodium, and maybe most importantly, um, to a lot of families out there, I'm sure, this burger actually costs less than this one, which is on sale. These are on sale for two for six dollars right now. These two burgers cost five dollars altogether to make. So um, there are a lot of myths around healthy food not being delicious, for one, uh, being too expensive, taking too much time, and requiring too much skill for it to be something that's practical for most families to be able to practice uh, so hopefully I've given you a couple of counterpoints here. Um, this one is cheaper. This one took less time. And as far as the amount of skill that it takes, that's what our department is here to help address. Um, I address uh, I, myself and the other um, culinary educators here help to address the culinary needs that families face. Um, as was mentioned before, we have classes based around physical movement and exercise, um, as well as mind-body classes. So you can learn how to meditate and take care of your mental health a little bit better, which is incredibly important, especially in these times. Um, so I really look forward, as soon as it is safe and prudent for us all to gather in this kitchen, to have this be a bustling center of culinary activity. Until then, um, we are producing videos, we are posting recipes, um, we're working on doing live classes here, so we are staying connected to you as best we can, um, and we look forward to having you closer to us in so thank you so much for your time. Thank you to Chuck, thank you to Barbara, thank you so much to the Peter Alphon Foundation. We're honored to be the stewards of this money and we look forward to the transformational change that we'll be able to affect in the state. And I'll give it back to Chuck to close this out. Thank you, Pat. So as Dr. Crowley and, and Ken so well articulated the $40 million endowment and the $8 million endowment um, from the Peter Alphon Foundation will truly change lives. With this investment, we will continue to break down barriers to care and wellness services and to better address the health of our community members. The funding comes at a critical time in the healthcare system. COVID-19 has dealt a severe negative impact and financial blow to all healthcare organizations, requiring some hard decisions. Maintaining funding for community health is always a challenge. This gift allows us not only to continue to expand our prevention and healthy living program as we focus operational dollars on COVID-19 recovery and disease-specific health care needs. This couldn't have come at a better time. We're so lucky to have the support and service of Peter Alphon on our board. He was a visionary, he was a mentor, and he was a friend. Peter passionately believed 
and people of the Kennebec Valley and wanted to maximize the impact that he could have in every case he supported here. We couldn't be more proud to be part of his living legacy and we're ready, we're all ready to expand Peter's vision with the support of this incredible gift.